a lake of molten carbon was discovered by researchers in May of this year, running under 15 states in the western U.S. The release of only 1% of it would be equal to all the oil humanity has burned for the last 65 years. The release valve for the huge reservoir of carbonate magma is the supervolcano at Yellowstone. In early June of this year, a series of earthquakes, numbering in the hundreds, began to rumble through Yellowstone National Park in a phenomenon known as a swarm. An increase in seismic activity can mean that a volcanic eruption is about to take place. A normal volcano has the shape of a cone built up from repeated eruptions. A supervolcano has too large an area to support a cone. Instead, it leaves a caldera, a depression in the earth, like a crater. The Yellowstone caldera is almost half the size of the national park itself. An eruption at Yellowstone would cover most of the United States with ash. Wyoming. Idaho and Montana would be buried in several feet of ash, resulting in death for 28 million inhabitants. A massive amount of sulfuric mist would also be ejected, changing our global weather. The acidic aerosol would remain in the atmosphere for years, screening out sunlight, causing temperatures to drop all over the planet killing crops for many seasons. It has been prophesied by Mark Taylor that a sign like this will be given. Retired fireman and respected clairvoyant, Mark Taylor successfully predicted the presidential election. He also foresaw a volcano that will spring forth from the depths. Yellowstone Park geologist, Dr. Henry Heisler, said that a super eruption would follow within two weeks when area earthquakes reached a magnitude of 4.5, which has already happened. Heisler said also that changes in geyser activity would precede the volcanic explosion. Black smoke has been rising from the park's most famous geyser, Old Faithful. This means that rocks are melting underground. One day late in June, Old Faithful violated its well-known pattern when it discharged boiling, steaming water two times in a row instead of once. Large numbers of animals Bison and elk have been seen leaving the park in recent weeks. This exodus has been confirmed by park authorities, who have no explanation other than the uncanny ability of some animal species to anticipate natural disasters such as earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Many local landowning ranchers are leaving too after being frightened by strange behavior among their own livestock. The federal government has a massive evacuation plan for the worst case scenario, which until recently was kept secret. When the Yellowstone supervolcano erupts, millions of United States citizens could end up in Brazil and Argentina two countries which have each accepted a payment of $10 billion to provide temporary refugee housing for displaced Americans. 
as the United States Geological Survey tracks the earthquake swarms, which are moving nearer to the Yellowstone caldera. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration has been mobilized to monitor the site from above. In addition to satellite imagery, NASA is now flying over the National Park on a regular basis. With SOFIA, the world's largest airborne observatory. The jet aircraft is normally used for astronomical observation, but NASA has turned its infrared cameras toward Earth to capture images of the growing lake of red hot magma in the Earth's mantle under the state of Wyoming. Just this past week, a massive chasm in the ground has opened up next to the Yellowstone Caldera. The federal government is contemplating yet another misguided strategy to release the pressure of the rising magma by detonating a small nuclear device on top of the dome at Sour Creek, one of the known weak spots in the caldera of the supervolcano.